So this is going to be difficult for Legacy. I could have seen it for the MIBR game. This one is, for me, a stretch too far. Even though it's by the finest of margins that, like, Anubis is quoted as their, their go-to kind of perma pick these days, Nuke was always that map. So I'm with it. I think Payne have got all the right makings to be the team. Oh, Big Azera is putting the team on his back. Kills with the jewel. He's making it look so easy and it's such a simple pistol not even getting a look in there for legacy welcome to the pain train hey. barely any damage done as well over towards the CT side yeah they don't have to move they don't have to change up here Big Uzera he's got the angle he can play confidently Ooh. and he will indeed laying down some of that braggadociousness here really well done drops back you know they're just playing like a team with control. That's one of the great things about Pain is that they will keep the fights going. They will overface. Brilliant. And they will indeed just absolutely ruin you. That is a perfect round. The nuke was always that map. I mean, Big Azera has always been in incredible on this map. Every iteration of Pain have had a very solid move under their belt, and Kawas plays that well as well. Good for the first. He sticks around. Up close for the second. Runs around by the MP9. The USPS can't quite convert. Doom out will get his first. He is the first death for Payne as well in this fourth round. Oh. May well be the only one. Looks, however, oh, it's been vested. He did spot him there just on the periphery, but Neck has already had the shot lined up. This is now space on A. It doesn't quite pan out, unfortunately. Bomb dropped outside is the one difficult thing here. So that is hard for Legacy to stomach, I think. If Lato or Neck has had the bomb, we'd have a plant right now, but... That is not the world in which we live. I like the drop-down vent. It's somewhat creative, somewhat unexpected, a different avenue to try and retrieve this bomb. Yeah, Snow might be in trouble here. I don't think he's going to check this at all. Should be an easy one. It was a little bit more labor than you'd want. Big Azera. Got a lead by example here. The IGL thrust into one versus two. There's the first. He knows that the second is over towards Secret. Spots him crossing as well. Time ticking. Bomb on his back. Neck is high tailing it. These two know each other well. Mentioned in the interview, but Neck is just running all the way to the site. He wants his bomb plant first, and then we'll talk about the round. Ooh, moving to double as well here. Gives a bit of a reset chance for Neck is, of course, no armor for him. Just Ooh. trying to tag him down. Really well played. Pre-firing around that corner, not committing into the fights. He knows that he can't with the lack of armor. Where's the play? Looks like we want to go towards our side. They've just got to be careful of that orb. It looks like I think it's tunnel vision a little bit over towards main more than... Yeah, yeah, so main towards you know, sort of short outside control. So they can actually work, uh, you know, red crate if they really want to, full contact. May well do just that. One smoke out. Oh. NQC though goes digging. That second is pretty nasty. He'll take some damage in the toes, but he's able to survive it. He's done his work for this round, right? So again, just becomes holding down this area of the map, trying not to die for free. Drop down in towards Mini. Got to be careful here. Lux comes out on top, however, and those rifles, of course, have come to support the situation. And again, another flawless round in from Payne. The rifle play looks pretty damn good here. Barely doing anything at the moment. It is not the showing. And then especially when you look at the other side. Cowers, 8-1. Big Azera, 7-1. NQZ, 9-1. Bless him. Paul Snow, 1-1. One one, but he's just doing his job. No one's coming his way. Yeah, he's all good, man. Nice little find here from Nekis as he's thread the needle through the smoke. There's a lot of players on this A-bomb site to get through. NQZ trying to make a play. Does get Ooh. taken down. It's Snow for the two-piece, however, up top. There's kills all over the place. When the dust settles, one versus two here. Low HP, but Lux does not care. Brilliant finds from him in the end to just tie the bow on that round. Much, much harder, and you've played them on this map. So I think Legacy will be happy with the fact that they're in the upper bracket, and they may well have a chance at it, and of course still have that lower bracket to go through. These kinds of rounds have not looked too bad, though. Bit more pocket, bit more thinking required. NQZ continues hitting ridiculous shots to bring it into just three Ts to get through now. Looks downstairs, is somewhat panicked, and nearly goes down to the first. Now has support. I think is indeed going to fall. It's a nice couple of flashes. He's hidden behind the door. <laughs> He's hidden behind the door. Just gets spamming. Sadsin does take him down. He's all alone now. The dink lands. And maybe six or seven years ago, that would have been a kill, but no longer for the P250. Seven yeah. to one. A scoreline that normally you Brazilians hate, but they're loving it right now if you pay. Ooh. There's the kill, though. Looks with a keen find. Snow coming in as well. 
do feel for the obs. It's all over the place right now. However, the bomb slowly making its way downstairs. Sadzin's got space. Ooh. He's got a frag as well, a little ahead of time. They didn't give him the respect. Neck is actually has pulled away and is thinking about the A-bomb site instead. So this is a very difficult round to comprehend in your mind, to consider in your mind. Big Uzera seems savvy that something is up, just loses the fight out. Two versus two, still very winnable here for Payne. Snow's normally that ace on anchor. They don't know where he is, and well, he actually will get caught. He rotates back in via main. NQZ thrust into actually a winnable one versus two. Despite it being an AWP on a retake, they're just so low. If you can get this first, take down on the ladder. A little bit of fortune can go its way. He's spamming and hoping it's not working for him. And pop shots aren't going to help either. Unfortunately, now the ruse is up and he can't give this one a go. If he had managed to even get a little bit on the ladder, there might have been something to say there. But I don't think it'll be the case. But sticking around for extra kills, I still think it's the right call. Can't buy AK, of course. Saved the cross for Big Uzera. And QZ back on the AWP. So back to... Crazy flicks, we'll see. First kill comes in, it's because they're on to Neckers with the smoke break. Molotov to slow down that secret push. Do Mao. Oh, do Mao. Oh, <laughs> Cow is just like, yeah, come right through, man. <laughs> and just takes him in the side of the head. Five versus three, still committing to this downstairs play. At least they've got that control. Down towards secret. And a five versus three is not easy. It helps with biggest error and Cow is being a little worse for wear, but Snow doesn't need to peek. Jumping for information. They go around this corner and Snow going to get clipped. That'll change things. In this four versus three, it makes it doable. We're still yet to see damage dealt over towards the three remaining legacy players. There might be something on the card here. Big Azera makes a move, catches Lato, and doesn't stick around for seconds. Smart play from the IGLs. He just dips back, drops a smoke. It makes it a lot tougher. Plenty of time though, 45 seconds, and they've not committed fully to the site. Look at this position though. From Gowers, and he gets a lot of damage off. Yeah, biggest error is just absolutely paramount to this round, though. You can see how uncertain they are of the area behind them now. Gowers. Slightly Ooh. changed angles, does get taken down. Is there any more? 20 seconds left. They're going to try and go upstairs. I mean, Big Uzera, again, is going to have perfect timing for this. Seems to have an idea. Gets caught. Is his life worth the trade-off? 10 seconds to get the plant in here. Looks good. Cancel it. I don't think that's fully hidden away. Gets the kill at the very least. So it gives them the advantage. It's all going to be down to the orb. They know. They, they, they know where he is. He was holding for both of them. And he only spotted one cross. So he knows he had to have dipped in towards at least somewhere around vent or... In through single, it might just be a stick play here as well. Saturn's hoping he's bluffing, but NQZ's got other ideas. Stick and a win. Nice and simple. They actually know about us downstairs. Yes. Way ahead of, you know, know our whereabouts way ahead of uh, schedule. Looks oh. ready and raring to go on the edge of the smoke here. Here's the footsteps of another. Can't oh. quite find that kill. However, they are ready for the A-burst. So many bodies around. And again, pain in the right place at the right time for number nine. Up to a third would be nice to maybe have something out of this. It's a quick move, but held for by Big Azera. Against his former comrade, he knows all of Nekis' tricks. Yeah, flying in, love a good run boost. Don't see them as much in CS2, it feels yeah. like. Especially not that one as well. It's a little, yeah, little bit yeah, of a yeah. slight... Because it means you avoid the AWP too. Yeah. Yeah. Shame it amounts to nothing. Indeed. Maybe that's why we don't <laughs> see it as much, to be fair. Because I think mini, main, whatever you want to call it, is such a paramount area. Yeah. And you don't really map, need to fight these days, off. do you, as well? Yeah, yeah. And Did when you've you got this? NQZ playing this well also, yeah, you don't need <laughs> rifling oh, yeah. presence outside. And now he's able to actually aggress into the cross. They've got smokes. They should use these to cross. Or at least get rid of his position. You would hope. No. Oh, yeah, indeed. They just don't give him enough respect, unfortunately, because they're there to help him out. Do him out. Remaining alone. They know where he's at. He's trying to just, you know, get something. They're even <laughs> mollying him. Feels a bit BM <laughs> to a certain extent. He will be flanked out in the end. 10 to 2 at the turn of the half. Perfect stuff from Payne on their CT side. Hi, guys. Subscribe to your cell YouTube. That's a big brain move. So make sure to subscribe.
and become a better player. Your turn. Make sure to not miss the upshot and press the mouse one button and the subscribe button. Headshot, subscribe. Ten to two, pain. I've made that first half look oh so easy. And if they get a pistol around here, I mean, it's more than safe to say, surely, Scriv, this game is absolutely over. But we're out of the way for that. It seems to Miles, Sadzin, Neckers, and Lato all having a look in and a flawless pistol. So game may be not over just yet. Well, this would be the classic uh, national derby. Yes, we've said, indeed, Legacy playing up in North America at the moment. But if a game goes absolutely crazy, Enforced by his legacy's tendency is to try and fight or something, and they're, they're expecting some sort of pop or a play towards our side. I mean, Big Zero's going to contact all the way. He won't cross, though. He's still sticking around a little bit too long. In all fairness, it's sad he takes the initial point of damage. The first fight goes the way of Big Zero. Lato gets caught. And already not bad there. Snow starts to move towards our side, and they're rapping towards their side, but they don't have a lot of time. Yeah, there's a lot of options available, but Legacy have got pretty much every single entrance, every single choke point covered off. So it all really depends on how they play. Sadsin does well for one. The spacing not quite there. NQZ does well to take him out. 15 seconds to get the bomb down. There's nobody on the site itself. It is certainly touch and go for a moment, but they do make their way in, get that plan, and probably force the save out here. So an unorthodox one from Payne, being really cheeky. See what we can get away with. We've got... So many rounds in advantage, right? Big Uzera just walking as far as they will allow yeah. him is a very ridiculous kind of notion, but it works out. And the ability to take a bit of rest and prepare for whoever they're going to be up against next is a big thing. Of course, it's that buy back in. Quick play though, Big Uzera. AK trying to get active here as well. No, there's one back side, but trades go back and forth, but it's Snow with a double. The babyface killer for two. Cracks open the A site, and already, I think they're hardly being tempted by the save. They were until Nekis gets one of his own. But still, the numbers favor Payne, and this round doesn't really feel very doable. So well done here from Payne to completely change things up, testing Legacy in a different way this time around. And you are indeed correct. I think Glass Cannon Orp, right? It's just not going to happen. We've talked about a number of the teams coming into this tournament. You know, Falcons is the one that turns the most heads, I think, just because of, indeed, the headline that goes along with it and the expectations that that team always has every single tournament that they enter into. Exactly. Bait, maybe you've mentioned as, like, a dark horse. I think Pain for me, are the most consistent, stable team coming into the tournament. Yeah. Maybe Eternal Fire, you could also argue there as well. Um, I think that their sights are set a little further ahead than this one. Payne sure. can look at this and be like, okay, we can win. We yeah. can win. We can definitely win this. We can take down some European competition. And I think they'll be feeling pretty confident heading into the America's RMR already, regardless of where this event. I'm a big fan of Payne. I just love what they've been doing. They won a challenger before as well. Yeah. One of my first ever challengers. I think it wasn't, might even be my first ever challenger in all fairness. Way back at Melbourne, back in the day. Barton for two. Neck is going to get one of his own as well. Oh, might come through here. The spam from Nekis is really good, and Snow now thrust into what feels like a bit of an impossible one versus three. It's the question of, does he get cleared by the MP9 up close? The damage, not going to be dealt there by the MP9, but Nekis has a hell of a round. Three kills to his name, and well, one of it's through the smoke, which is uber important to give that retake some legs. Last couple of rifle rounds. Nekis, though. Good read here. It's the bomb. Gonna find a clean one, yeah, and just take that. Don't get greedy. Don't need any more. And as you say, good information on where the bomb is at and the fact that, once again, Payne are so far back here. Yeah, now they're going to be super nervous about Neck is just continuing to wrap around. Waiting to release this utility here. Lato is the danger man that they've got to deal with. He actually bails on the angle. The Molotov is enough to push him away. Can't stop them. Diving down the vent, so it's a nice variation on that vent dive. Smoke here, Dumao trying to spam away, can't stop them. So Bomb's going to get planted, but they have used absolutely everything to make this happen. Snow with a big kill, takes the big nade damage. It's all over the place. Neck is good position for him. He's got to find a kill here before they make their way in towards that bomb site. Try and give the numbers back. The HP is there, but the numbers not so much. All moving in from double, however. There's no one on the site. It's 
itself from pain to stop them gaining control. Ooh. And so they will indeed take them one by one, control the fights and stay alive. A little bit too passive for me there, Pain, in that situation. I know Snow's low, but they really stand off the side and hope that they can sort of just play that post bar, but from a real far back position. It doesn't work out for them. 12 to 8, only four rounds in it. It's not impossible. Lose this round here, probably low buy-in towards the next. That gets Legacy up towards 10. That's one gun round in the difference. So, if we're thinking about it lo logically, there's only two gun rounds in between. Just last week about Kawe as an opening attempt, though. There he is. He steps up for his sixth successful opening duel. And that's an important one because it gives her the numbers. He doesn't die. Snow. Oh, I thought he was going to go for it. Not. That might have been heard, Taking though. the fight. Yeah, that is true. The scrunch of the trousers. I think mm. that probably would have been heard. It's not a hop, skip, and a jump to assume that someone's in there. However, Neckers has, again, Ooh. got the information and the push through here. Found the gap. Oh, took him a moment to spot that player, but will indeed find a late trade onto Cowers. Catch outside as well. They are unaware, I think, with that M4 shot in the side of the head. Couldn't quite pin him for the information, but there are, again, spaces that the T-side could take. Dumao ready to go on the retrieved AWP. Three versus two, drop downstairs, and will there be space for pain down here? I don't rightly know. It all depends on how this fight goes against the Lato hold. He sees them coming in, going to call for the support now as well. 35 seconds left on the clock. Will there be a peak coming in? Surely Legacy just don't give the fights until the bomb plant is committed to, and that has to be the way to play it. One on the right side of ramp, one at single door, however, though, and he's been by his time for quite a while to deny that bomb plan all on looks three to clutch up against can't even get past that second and the game is most definitely on here folks if pain lose this we might be heading to what some would say is the dreaded overtime feels like it might be required here towards outside bigger zero will find the first they needed somebody to step up and it's the leader the igo and a flash down in towards singles lux wants to make a move Lato needs to be very careful. He is exposed to two different angles, and it's all about the timing on the peaks of them, especially now that they know Big Azera has got outside control. Oh, this could be big, though. Are they going to commit to this push, or is it just a hold at the hut? Barton, he fancies it, but I don't think he's been given permission, especially when they're already a man down. They're trying to look for some timing, and it is being held for, not by one, but by two, in fact. Trade not quite there. Overcommit certainly is from the CT side. Barton remains all alone here, and there is nothing that he can do. Payne, really well played from them in that final round. They did not let up. They were like, okay, we've had a bad run of rounds. What do yeah. we do? And instead of allowing Legacy the control and the sort of mental victories, they went back to an aggressive round, back to uh, opening play.